Giannis, it seemed like you were getting into a rhythm with your three-point shooting late. What are you going to do to improve that this summer? Is that just a matter of reps, or is it other things that you think you're going to work on? Um, no, there's so many things that uh, I'm going to work on. Um, you know, I had uh, two days to think about it. Actually, I started thinking about it right after the game when I went back home. Uh, but in my three-point, uh, three you know, obviously it's going to get better you know, over the time. Um, and spending time with, uh, you know, the coach staff, surely in the offseason is going to make it, you know, better. But I think just, you know, having a year, this whole year, just becoming comfortable and uh, making it almost like my, you know, first nature and not even, you know, thinking about it or hesitating, uh, I think that told me a lot. So hopefully I can, you know, carry over from where I left um, this year. And it's not about make, it's just about, you know, having that confidence to shoot shoot the ball. And um, as of late, I've, I've got that, so I'm happy about that. So hopefully I can uh, keep it up. Yeah, and I just had a couple of days to you know, kind of reflect. <coughs> what, what's just going to stand out to you about this season as a whole? An amazing season. Um, successful season. Uh, where we, you know, where where we are right now, it's um, it's amazing. Uh, and when the season started, um, you know, I want, I want, you know, like when you think about the season, you know, you start, you know, tense a little bit to get uh, emotional because you know you think back and uh, you know all the hard work, all the um, days that you, uh, you know, sweat and um, the ups and downs, and you know, you, because you're so invested in the season and uh, in your team that you get a little bit um, you know, emotional when you think about it. But, uh, you know, successful season. Um, we have a nominate uh, coach of the year. Chris made his first All-Star. Uh, 60 wins. Um, get out of the playoffs after, out of the first round of the playoffs uh, after 18 years. Uh, but we can get better. And that's the amazing part about it, uh, you know, a lot of teams can say they can get better, but we can get better, you know, and it starts from me, uh, become a better player for my teammates, um, be a better coach from Coach Bad, just be in a better organization. And uh, I think it's just fun to, you know, walk around the walk and see people in back stuff. And you know that we were able to bring uh, people out of their houses to come and enjoy games. and. Uh, you know, just be a part of the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, be happy about something, you know, in the city. Be excited about something. Uh, it was amazing, amazing season. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, carry on from where we left and come back and be better. Be, you know, be better. We can, we can do it. You know, the season is over, we're about a month away from learning who will be the MVP of the league. Is exciting time for you? That could possibly be it? Man, um, it's it's a it's a month away. Um, obviously, you know, happy to be uh, one of the three finalists. Um, hopefully, you know, hopefully I get it. If not, you know, I have many more years to, uh, you know, um, being able to help my teammate uh, be successful and uh, put me in the situation and get to get it. But um, right now, to be honest, I'm not even thinking. Nah. I didn't think about it the whole year. I'm not gonna think about it now. The only thing that I think about it uh, is just that we we're not gonna be playing tomorrow and uh, whenever they play. I think tomorrow. Play tomorrow. Thursday. 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 Uh, yeah, Thursday. We're not gonna be team playing. But, uh, but yeah, but reflecting back in the season, it's uh, it's been the amazing season. I'm happy about it. But I'll, I'll think about that. Yeah, so you mentioned what what it's been like to capture the city and see the excitement build in the city. Over the last five years, going from a 15-win team to the Eastern Conference Finals, have you had much opportunity to reflect on what that's meant to you and what this process and journey has been like? This journey has been unbelievable. Man. Um, as I said before, that you know you put your invested so much into it. Like I'm invested so much because I know like where we started from, and I know that where we are and where we can still go. Um, so you know it's amazing the way. The team, the team have changed. It's amazing how the uh, uh, what is it called? Yeah, it's amazing how the team have changed, and uh, you know we can we can get better. We can, we can get better, and uh, as I said, I'm happy that you know five years ago uh, people knew about the bugs, but people wasn't excited about the bugs, and now people are coming out and they're excited about the bugs. You know, I walked around Milwaukee. Um, 
yesterday. That is something that I haven't do, done in a year and a half. Uh, and I saw people with like box stuff. Like, you know, I was, it's, it's amazing. I'm happy about that. And uh, there's many more good things to come. So keep being excited about this team. Keep believing in this team. And uh, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done, you know, step by step, uh, day by day. Uh, year by year, it might take one year, it might take two years, it might take five years, but we're going to get it done. And now uh, we um, we're close to it. You know, we've worked five years uh, for this, six years for this. And uh, as you said, 15 wins, now we got 60. Um, I don't promise we're going to get 61 next year, but, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be who we want to be. We're going to put ourselves in uh, a place to... Uh, be a championship contender team for many more years to come. And uh, there's not a lot of teams that can say that in the league. There's not a lot of teams that can say that uh, in the league. There's one, two, three teams, you know, four teams that can say that. But uh, we're going to be put ourselves in that situation for more, many more years to come. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, you spoke about being motivated by losses in the past and, and losing to Boston and losing to Toronto. Does this one feel even more so the fact that you got so close to being in the finals and how do you think that's going to, uh, yeah, I guess motivate you moving forward? Um, you know, it was definitely immediately after the game, you know, I was thinking about, you know, where I can, you know, get better, you know, how I can uh, help my teammate and uh, there's a lot of things I could do better and that's, uh, you know, the amazing part about it. But, you know, just being two wins away from uh, the NBA finals and being up 2-0, uh, and not being in that situation, like I don't know how uh, it feels to be there before, you know. But uh, just just being up to zero and not being able to um, go to the NBA fans, that that kind of hurt. But uh, you know, uh, whatever does it, whatever I don't know how you guys say, whatever don't kill you, make you stronger. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just using this as motivation. Like I, I love it, you know, I love it. So. You're gonna make me a better player, you know, and uh, when I'm in the same situation again, I'll be better. Now, how much time are you going to take between now and getting back out on the court? What, what's your like? I, I really don't even think about it. When uh, I feel like my body's ready and uh, resting enough, I'm gonna be able to uh, just go out there, lift, shoot a little bit, you know. Uh, I just, you know, love just playing, and um, I can't, be, I can't be. I'm at place for more than a week or two, so you know, his lifestyle uh, becoming boring. So I'm, uh, when my, my body's resting enough, I'm gonna be able to um, go out there and practice, start practice. Kind of going off of that, will you return home to Greece? I believe you're rebuilding a court there, right? Will you take time to go back home? Who said that? <laughs> uh, I mean, you have to enjoy I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. There's so many things that uh, I'm doing uh, in Greece. Um, I'm going to have time. Uh, right now, it's not the time, but uh, I'm going to sit down and uh, think about uh, the things that uh, what's going on in Greece. Right now, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm tired. Last <laughs> two here, Eric and then Matt. Giannis, uh, what do you think went wrong in that series? And what did it teach you about how you need to get better or what you need to improve on? Um... It's a lot of things, There's so many things uh, going on. Like I can sit here and um, talk all day, and uh, we're gonna all get bored. But obviously, you know, when you're up 2-0, you gotta close out this you know, series. Uh, we had a chance. I think as a team, um, maybe because we haven't been there before, we wasn't uh, mentally, you know, ready to close out the series. But uh, you know, then we had another chance. Wasn't ready. Then we had came back home, wasn't ready. So it just teach you that, you know, when you're in the playoffs, you got to be able to, like, when you have the chance, when you have the opportunity, you got to take it. Um, you know, on the, uh, on the court, there's so many things that I've learned uh, by being double team, by being hit. Um, there's so many things that I got better. And I was talking to um, my coach, uh, Ben, uh, like during the series, like I'm, I told him like I'm getting better right now, like I can feel it. Uh, I know maybe it's not showing right now, but I can feel I'm getting better. I can feel like uh, when I come next year and I see the the way they play me, the way they play the team, I'm gonna be 
be able to execute better, um, to be a threat uh, within the uh, uh, the mid range area. Like, like I see what it takes to uh, win games, and uh, it's something that you know I take pride in getting better, and it's something that you know I learned in this series, and hopefully, what I write down in my notes, uh, I can uh, be able to work hard on it and um, add it to my game and come back and be better. And when I'm in that situation again, you know, be the one moving forward. That's all about you know, learning from your uh, losses, basically. Giannis, part of the NBA is that you know, rosters change over the summer. Guys go to different teams. Um, obviously, you guys have Chris, Malcolm, Brooke, George, Nico, all these guys yeah. who could possibly, you know, who are going to be free agents. Just how do you approach the summer? What do you think about, you know, the future of this team? Um, it's something that, you know, uh, is really important, obviously, but uh, my teammates, I'm always going to have their back. Um, obviously, I want this, you know, the same. I want everybody back. You know, uh, great freaking uh, team. Uh, unselfish players. Uh, they play basketball the right way. Uh, they're winners. And uh, we had a great atmosphere. We didn't have no... Um, I can't be polite. No, I want to say the the A word. We didn't have no, uh, no bad heads. heads. Bad <laughs> what? Bad heads. Bad heads. <laughs> bad heads. Yes. So obviously, I want everybody back. Uh, but it's something that uh, I'm gonna let my teammates know that for sure. But uh, I know I do not never want to get involved with you know uh, front office decisions because I'm always gonna take my you know, my team inside. Uh, but obviously, I, f I feel like if the team is back, we have a chance to uh, win it. So that's all I care about. Giannis, when's the shoe dropping? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nike don't tell me nothing no more. <laughs> uh, you know, since I've been playing in the playoffs, I've been off my phone, off social media. So I don't know. Nothing. I don't know what's going on right now. I got to get back on track.